All right, back to the question. So the presence of a third present, third person, theft of the suit. They shouldn't go to the washroom. Let's go with the, the presence. The presence of a third person. How is she hiding it? She just made the claim herself. And what reason would she have to hide it anyway? All right, I just lost something. Let's, can we go back to that? All right, so nope. They should go to the washroom. They go to the restroom. What is that supposed to mean? Obviously that she didn't go where she's testifying. What are you saying? I'm saying what you will not. At the time of the incident, you only pretended to go to the restroom. You actually went to the storeroom. What was that? Ah. Hmm. So we agree with the defense for once. The defendant went to the storeroom and proceeded with her plans to th th thieve the camouflage suit. The defense only agrees with the fact that she went to the storeroom. It's close enough. However, Miss Hina and I claims that there was a third party present. In that case, the prosecution requests evidence. Evidence? Speaking of which, the prosecution would like to present more evidence proving the defendant's guilt. There's more evidence? Yes, I've decided it's time to put the final nail on the coffin. Nail on the coffin, guess it does have a certain impact coming from a vampire. Now's not the time to care about that. Things are about to go from bad to worse. What evidence would this be, Miss Scarlet? Please see for yourself, Your Honor. Is that perfume? When the defendant was searched, this was discovered in the same pocket as the paper with the safe combination. But this perfume contained not perfume, but a powerful sleeping medicine. What did you say? Not just the stone soup is sleeping medicine too? The Celestial has got to be guilty. They already know she's a thief. How long are they planning on dragging out the trial? Order! So this proves that the defendant challenged the victim and said intended to steal all along. I believe you would not be mistaken in believing so. Just a whiff of this in this off to dreamland. A perfume bottle added to the court record. Found in the right pocket of the Tenchi skirt containing a sleeping medicine that would work works merely by inh inhalation. This should prove the defendant's guilt beyond a shadow of a doubt. Please wait a moment, Miss Scarlet. You failed to inform me of such important evidence when I visited earlier. This is a textbook example of concealing information. The con contents of the bottles were still under examination when you visited. At the time, it was still an ordinary perfume. We had yet to determine if it was related to this case. There was very real possibility it was just one of her personal belongings. But did it really take that long to examine the contents of the bottle? We wanted to leave the analysis to an expert, one Miss Kawashiro. She is not yet a part of our organization though, so any information gleaned from her investigation takes a moderate amount of time to reach us. This isn't good eye, sleeping medicine in a perfume bottle. I seem to remember you mentioned that Miss Niri said she smells something sweet. And then the perfume bottle being found on Miss Hinanai on top of that. Wait, what is this? Does everyone find abusing me like this that much fun? No, I wouldn't particularly call this abuse. Ah, <sighs> Miss Hinanai. Boo hoo hoo hick. You know, I'm not really good with crying and all that. Making the sound effects, so yeah, we'll go with that. It's no use. She won't listen to us like this. What should we do? She won't. She, she just won't talk to us anymore. If she keeps us up, it'll be all over. What a bother. Maybe I should bring this trial to an end already. No, it can't end like this. Not like this. I will now hand down my verdict. Miss Hiranai, how long do you plan to keep crying? If you won't testify anymore, you're going to be found guilty. Do you want that? No, I don't. But no matter what I say, no one seems to believe me. I'm being called a criminal. You are mistaken, Miss Hina and I. I said before I would continue to believe and defend you until the end. But how am I supposed to defend a client who won't believe in me? You believe in me. You really, truly believe in me. Of course I do. If I didn't, I would have I would have walked out the door the second you started bawling. That was amazing, Aya. I do this all for the Bun Bun Moro. But that is less amazing. Okay then, I'll believe in you, so what should I testify about? Tell us exactly what happened at the time of the crime, everything. 
Okay, I will. It doesn't matter what you do now. The outcome will be the same regardless. Please wait until my cross-examination before you say that. If I can't find any new information this time, I will accept that Miss Hinanai is guilty. So please allow her to testify one more time. Very well. However, I will not hold you onto your word. If you can't bring new facts to the light, I will immediately hand down my verdict. This is acceptable, your honor. Now witness your final testimony, if you please. It's impossible to prove the presence of a third party at this point in time. It all depends on what comes in her testimony. What really happened? The first thing we did at night was lock up our bets in the safe that was in the storeroom. We returned to the main room and started our game. As for the game, well, it looked like I was going to lose. Then I decided to check the storeroom for a moment. I brought a light, a lit candle for me since the light bulb was out, but then someone attacked me from behind and I was out myself. When I regained consciousness, I saw the safe had been opened and the contents vanished. I was so scared I ran off without thinking. And this time you are telling the truth. Of course, I didn't bend it even a little. There are two important parts in her testimony. First, the fact that the defendant lost. Second, the fact that she felt inclined to check the storeroom. By these two points alone, it is hard to say she is not suspicious. But she says she was assaulted from behind and lost consciousness. That is merely the defendant's statement. But proving it, its validity is your job, Mr. Defense Attorney. Please begin your cross-examination. If I can't prove there was someone else there. Alright. I want to save again, as always. Give me the chance like, once again. Uh, there we go. Let's do this. And this was the first time you entered the storeroom. That's right. I saw the Kappa lock our bets in the safe. We were in the main room, so neither of us could have touched them. Well, that was before the incident occurred. That vampire is not making things any easier. We returned to the main room and started our game. Was this your first time playing Shogi, Miss Hinanai? Yes, it was. But I had good grasp of the rules and believed I could have won. So then, what was the outcome of said game? As for the game, well, it looked like I was going to lose. Going to lose? Yes, because we weren't able to finish our game. What? J just what is that supposed to mean? I went to the storeroom in the middle of the game. So the game never truly ended. I don't think Miss Hina... Hina and I is lying now, but I get the feeling there's something else she's hiding. But I was just about to stage a comeback. I wonder where she gets all that self-confidence. A comeback? Was it even possible? Then I decided to check the storm for a moment. Why? Because it started raining all of a sudden. Why would the rain make it go to the storeroom? What I had bid was a treasure that could create rainstorms, so I thought someone couldn't have stolen it, could they? At first, I tried to ignore it, but I couldn't help being worried. So you went to check on the safe? Yes. I brought a lit candle for me since the light bulb was out, but then someone attacked me from behind and I was out myself. Now that you mention it, how did you know about the light bulb in the first place? I had no idea what it was until Miss Kawashiro explained it to me earlier today. Oh, that first time we went into the room, she turned on the light bulb. I was surprised to see light with no fire, so she told me about it. Ah, oh, I see. And, mo and when you went there the second time, the light was off? Yes, after we put our bets in the safe, it suddenly became dark again. I was surprised yet again, but according to the cat, but it had just stopped working. It doesn't seem like the light bulbs can be used for very long. She said she would change, light bul she would change bulbs after the game. And that's why you went to the room with a candle? That's right. But then someone attacked me from behind and I blacked out. Sounds like a good excuse. Are you trying to claim there was a third party? But I really was attacked. If I can prove that Miss Hinoa truly was assaulted, I'll blow the case wide open. But do I have any evidence that could prove it? Yes. The defense would like to present evidence that proves Miss Hinoa, Hino and I, my god, not wrong one, was attacked that night. Actions speak louder than words, Miss Shamimaru. 
So stop talking and show us. We got Yomu's th footprint. That's about it. Uh, we can try that. Nope. All right, that didn't turn out as planned. Uh, I guess it's not gonna be easy to prove. Oh, oh, we didn't present it. Oh, we fucked up. Why don't we just keep pressing on? And then we'll redo the thing again, as always. At the time, there was no one else in the room except for you, Miss Hina and I. No, there wasn't anyone else, but I didn't do it. But at this point, there's no one else who could have done it. Oh. I was so scared I ran off without thinking. Why were you that scared? Because the safe was open and empty. If I had stayed there any longer, I would have looked suspicious. Well, I doubt that would have changed your current situation much. So you're saying that as soon as you woke up and realized what had happened, you ran away. Yes, that's why I had no time to steal anything. But whether or not that actually happened is rather suspicious. While I can't prove for now if that actually happened, if I can prove there was someone else there. Miss Hina, Hina and I lost the bet and went to the store on top of that. Who else could be the culprit? Don't lose hope just yet, Momoji. She said there was someone else there. But who's going to believe her? That's why we need to prove she is telling the truth. That's that there was someone else at the scene of the crime. Can you do that? If she isn't lying, then I should be able to. So this is a gamble, pure and simple. She's right, all I can do is spin the wheel, red or black, even or odd, guilty or innocent. Alright, this is going to be a little tough, so I'm going to try to figure this out before I check up YouTube, because I don't waste too much time. Uh, let's see, we said present evidence, I want to go back to that part and try it out. Was this the one? I can't remember why, I can't remember which one was it. I'm trying to remember which it was. Was it this one? No? Was it this? Or was it the last one? Oh, yeah, the last one, last one. Try the last one then. Okay, now that one. This one. Okay, let's try this one again. Okay, let's see. I think this is the one we talked about the evidence. Hopefully, this works. If not, maybe this is a trick one. And, uh, and then we'll try, it doesn't work. We'll try, I'll try one more time. All right, after that, I'll just check up YouTube after that. Nope. All right, I'm going to reload and then check out what the correct answer is because, you know, we don't want to lose too much lives. Let's load back for me. Let me make sure it's right. All right, so I'll meet you guys later, so be right back.